Okay, I've seen a lot of crazy things in my years of vintage hunting, but I have never seen something quite like this. Okay, we're here in Springfield, Ohio for one of the biggest flea markets you've ever been to. This is the extravaganza. I'm talking vintage clothing, video games, antiques, everything and anything you could ever want to add to your collection. Let's check it out. Yo, talk about nostalgia. Look at these old like um, Pac-Man. What, see the picture, hear the story, read the book. So there was some type of like audio component. But what's really cool is you also have a like vinyl of Cindy Lauper uh, from The Goonies. She did the theme song and that's pretty sick. What a classic movie. One of my favorites, one of the best Spielberg films. What's your favorite scene in The Goonies? Comment below. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like an E.T. plushie, right? This is sweet. So Showtime produced it. This is definitely 80s. He's very adorable. I don't think I see a price. 15. Okay. Cute. <laughs> he is he is cute. He's he's my favorite iconic alien in Hollywood. Oh, uh, check this out. The first Simpsons find of the day. This is actually a play set that I already have, the high school prom, but uh, definitely an iconic moment in Simpsons history with Marge and Homer. What else we got? We got the other oh, military antique shop. I actually never remember this guy's name, but he's, uh, he's pretty hardcore. So one of the best Rob Zombie movies ever, House of a Thousand Corpses. This movie is absolutely insane. It's perfect for kind of the Halloween horror season as well i just found that tape last week sealed at the flea market and i opened it so i could watch it and then of course i find one a week later in the wild super salty i opened it but oh well hey what's going on guys good morning this is definitely very overwhelming you don't understand how big this flea market is there is like 20 buildings and then there's a whole entire outside aspect to it that stretches an entire fairground so bear with me it's just me today by the way eric and the rest of the squad are not here so i'm going to try to hold down the camera work too so um let's go hunt together okay look what i just spotted here two beautiful 90s trash cans and man this is exactly what i was looking for a chicago bulls trash can you guys know i love the chicago bulls one of my favorite teams ever huge michael jordan fan this is definitely from the era of the 90s um vendors asking 45 let's see what we can do on this because i would love to go home with this trash can yay success my friends I got the trash can for $35. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Say hi to the camera. Hi, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, Bulls are my favorite team ever, and uh, I've wanted this same trash can forever. So, a little bit of cleanup, nothing some disinfecting wipes can't fix. Let's keep hunting. Okay, that's pretty sick. Check that like rat think display. This thing is so cool. Whomping $475. That's pretty cool. Yo, I ran into Kai at the flea market. Kai, what band tees did you just pick up, my man? I got a... Uh, mushroom, mushroom head. I got a... Uh, classic <laughs> Y2K metal. Children of Bodom. Okay. What else you got? Uh, oh, three the doors three, down. three doors down. Hate breed, hate breed. That artwork is pretty gnarly. Cool. You, you having fun at the flea so far? Yeah, yeah, I think good. He bought a bunch of clothes. I have some cool shorts. These ones are nice. Uh oh. This is going to look good on Kai next summer. Nah, nah. <laughs> Yo, I have never seen a retro nostalgia trailer before. 
This is insane. Let's check this out. So we're in the infamous trailer of Relic Clothing. Y'all, this is crazy. It's just vintage t-shirts, wall to wall, toys, posters, boom boxes. It's out of control. And I'm finding a lot of sick stuff too. So he's got this crazy American Thunder shirt. It's literally got uh, these like horses on it, these unicorns. It's the color's crazy. It's really loud. Kind of my style, single stitch. So thinking about maybe checking out the price on that. We're at Toxic Slob, the legend, and he's just pulling out banger after banger. Check this out, guys. 1996 Sega Championship. It was originally bought in the thrift store for 40 cents. 40 cent thrift store buy way back in the day. Yeah, what thrift store is selling shirts for 40 Dude, cents anyway? So everything, this all came out of a hoarder house. Everything in these boxes hadn't been touched in over 30 years. So yeah, the, the, the newest t-shirt we found in a box was 2002. So everything was 2002 back. And he, the guy clearly had excellent taste because yeah. I'm just seeing banger after banger. Just weird, he just randomly collected the weirdest stuff. I mean, look at this. This is a Bible Man shirt. Well, you never see Bible Man shirts. Banger Stone Colds, NASCARs, AOPs. Hold on, let's see what we else we got. Let's see what we got in this pile. Yeah, let's, let's just dig. Yo, Kiro Taco Bell with a tag, yo. yo with Kiro. the tag. Yeah, with the tag. Look at this Manitok Island alien abduction shirt. Just weird. <laughs> oh, that's a cool one. Look, my, if you like minor league teams, Richmond spiders with bugs on it, like bugs dead stock hat. We got a 1991 Malcolm X, both sides. Oh my gosh. Uh, got the 3D emblem, Harley Davidson. Yeah. Let's check the Oreo shirt. We, we love the cookie tees. Oh my gosh, this one is great. Look that is that. sick. Is that's there a front? Back okay, that's, that's the, the back hit. Yeah. Wow. And then we got Nancy Kerrigan, Tanya Harding all over. Oh my gosh. Sure. I might have to ask on that one. <laughs> that one's hard. Oh my gosh. He just he, save, he just pulled some fire. We're save the best fire for <laughs> Okay. Last we got another Stone Cold. I actually had this shirt originally back in the 90s. I wore this to school in high school, y'all. The same shirt. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So Cold University. Woo! Change his tag on there. Yep. Great tag, great yep. shirt, yep. great right, company. So here's two of the banger bangers I pulled out. Oh 1996, <laughs> Six Flags. Look at everybody that's on there. We got Batman, we got Superman, we got Robin, we got Animaniacs, we got Tiny Toons. Wacko got and Dot. Yeah, oh, all, all of them, there. all the Animaniacs. All the Animaniacs are on there, dude. Wow. This shirt is crazy. I've never seen it before. Couldn't find any comps on it. It's a wild shirt. Here's another one never seen before. He's going to just crap himself right now. Oh, no. No comps. Oh NWO, no. WCW Revenge, Nintendo 64 shirt. We got Goldberg. We got Raven. That's a great game, we, too. Oh my gosh. All the N64 wrestling Nash, games. Hogan, and the back hit on it. Look at the back. Revenge is just too sweet and it's dated. That's just wild. I know, I know that one's going for a penny, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen yep. too many of those. <laughs> Never. Wow. <laughs> This is crazy. So Toxic Slob cleaned out a wild hoarder house and he literally found thousands of vintage clothing. And this is kind of the aftermath of actually after he cleaned out the house, you just get piles and piles of clothes. You can literally make snow angels in this thing. And it's just kind of free for all picking $5 piles. You don't know what you're gonna find, but my gosh, this is a beauty right here. So let's start digging. Okay, so I picked up from Toxic Slob this 1992 figure skating championship AOPT. What's really crazy about this is it's got Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding on it. And if you remember, they had their kind of fiasco with the broken leg and the lead pipe and hiring the goon. All that jazz. So this shirt's really cool. I love the colors too. It's got like kind of the beige white with the blue. It really pops. So um, let's just keep going. Uh, more vintage clothes, video games, and toys to buy. A 
Oh, look at this, another Simpsons find. Whoa, he comes with a little stand too. Actually, this is cool. It's from the 300th episode. It's like a little Bart. Um, I like this actually. I don't think I have him. Hmm. You know I'm a sucker for anything Simpson. So when I do see that, I'm like, oh, do I have it? Do I not have it? Do I buy it? I have a problem. I'm addicted to the Simpsons. This is crazy. I don't even remember this. Name that tune. It's a Tiger Electronic though. I know Retro Wolf would be into that. He's collecting it. Interesting, pretty cool game. This booth has a lot of cool stuff. Lots of old like nostalgic toys. Um, you see that there's like the Twinkie Kid. Looks like you got some Aladdin stuff. Uh, what else we got here? Um, old Power Ranger toys, Buzz Light Lightyear. Literally, there's everything at this flea market. It is so giant. Oh look, we have video games. Let's see, you got an Xbox here. Anything good, we got what, Captain Skyhawk, Jeopardy Monopoly, Excite Bike. so nothing too crazy. So another really crazy thing about this event is that there's all of these barns. So there's barns scattered around the fairgrounds and it's just full of vendors. So it's literally just thousands and thousands of people selling vintage and nostalgia. So let's see what else we can find here. So I'm on the current hunt right now for the Mojo Dojo squad. All I know is that they are in one of the barns. They're calling it the vintage barn. So I'm looking for the vintage barn. I'm not sure where that is because there's a bunch of barns, but um, shout out to Mojo Dojo. I will find your booth soon. Amazing friends, amazing vendors. It's always sick stuff, ready to see what they got. So I'm walking up and I finally find the vintage clothing barn. Okay, everyone, I'm going to assume that the Mojo Dojo squad is at the vintage clothing barn. Feeling good about this one. Let's go find the homies. searching for the homies mojo dojo and i find their booth okay i found the homies their booth is crazy too and what i love about uh these two are they always have the craziest nostalgia vintage items from skateboards to vhs tapes to vintage tees to games to custom one-on-one -on -one pieces to jewelry there's always so much to choose from I'm ready to hunt, guys, so um, let's see what we can find at their booth. Man, look at this, guys. You know I'm always looking for Simpson stuff. This is really cool. It looks like it's like a skateboard from the late 80s, early 90s, and somebody actually painted the infamous on Bart Simpson. Who the heck are you? Really cool, though. This is pretty sick. Yeah, this is a cruiser board for sure. I know Riff would love this. So Mojo Dojo shows me a pile of vintage t-shirts and I'm digging through these shirts and I find the sickest dinosaurs vintage tee. It's single stitch, it's on an SSI tag. Totally picking it up. So I asked Josh, do you guys have any video game stuff? And he points to this box. It's the old Super Mario Bros toy chest. Okay, so there is a magic box of video game stuff under the Mojo Dojo fold-out table. Look at this. So it's actually the infamous Super Mario toy chest. Actually, I think it was like blankets. They put like blankets and sleeping bags. I feel like everyone Yeah, uh, is this the... Uh, yep. Okay. And when I open the toy chest, I see tons of video games, video game accessories, Vintage t-shirts. So what do we got in here? Oh, we got Mortal Kombat. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, <laughs> this is live. Yo, look at the Humpty Dumpty Game Boy hat. Holy cow. And a beautiful Humpty Dumpty Game Boy Super Mario rope hat. I had to get it. It's one of my favorite hats. It's been on my eBay hit list for a long time. And they hooked me up with an amazing deal. And a Mortal Kombat promo hat. All right, so check this out, guys. So this is a really good tag to look for on all hats, um, the Cobra tag. Oh, yeah. That's how you know it's a legit. 
Oh wow, we got, what do we got here? Looks like we got a thrashed awesome Zelda tee. I wonder what year this is from. It looks older though. That's like probably 99. Yep. Okay, this is awesome. Uh, what else we got here? We got a bunch of games. Check this out. We'll do a little rapid fire. So we got some Damn. PC games. We have a uh, Sega Smash Pack. That's cool. Oh, Doom 2. I love this game. Uh, ID, ID in general is one of my favorite developers, but this changed first person shooting. NFL 2K, Sega Dreamcast, NFL 2K1, Sega Dreamcast. Uh, we got a bunch of Dreamcast games. What is this? Oh, this must be for like a fishing game or something. For oh, the yeah, Dreamcast. fishing controller Ooh. game. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, we got 64 stuff. What's that? We got Rogue Squadron, NFL Club, some sport game. This is the best sports game for the N64. I love Ken Griffey. This is such a good baseball game. What's going on? Who do we have? Who do we have here? We got the Mojo Dojo. The Mojo. Right? We're down in Mojo located fan. around the Kings Island Mason area. Yep. Specializing in all things nostalgic and silly. You know, anything cool we sell. Hey, we love this guy, dude. Hey, thank you. We love you guys. Yo, what a crazy day at the Springfield Antique Flea Market. I'm exhausted. I need to go find my car. I have to go back to Columbus and eat food. Bye.